Our movements must grow strong. Our communities are fighting back. We are yeah, I am Aaron Pedrosa from the Philippine Movement for Climate Justice and San Lacras. We are here now at the last day of the COP27 and we're seeing more and more things from the past being repeated in the non-paper and that is alarming at the same time disheartening for millions of people in the global south who've looked up to the COP for relevant, meaningful and binding solutions especially as the climate crisis ravages on and come, comes into our communities in the form of extreme weather in the, the governments not being able to meet with our targets and in the non-paper it's already mentioned there that 5 to 10 percent of the national determined rather the national determined contributions put together maximum of only 10 percent reduction of greenhouse gas emissions we need mitigation now climate science is saying we should peak by 2025 but the way things are going they are still using terminologies like net zero market-based mechanisms is like using this platform to further the entire climate discourse as a business proposition and that is what we don't want happening. Keep it in the ground. The only path forward is, is complete and entire phase out of oil, gas and coal. Keep it in the t or put it in the text to keep it in the ground. Put it in the text to keep it in the ground. Rapid just face out! Fossil fuel will out! Rapid just face out! Thank you. My last message is we need a strong attempt around fossil fuels. This COP has been a major backshake from the COP26 that we witnessed last year, where countries committed to phase out financing of fossil fuels. And this COP has backshaped and has not. Uh, meaningfully contributed to what is needed for African people to do resilience around the climate crisis. Thank you.